Sveikimėlėjai, žaliai, baltų sirgaliai esame Turkijoje Gloria Sports Arena komplekse, kur žalgiriečiai, na, įskirius praėjusius metus, beveik kas met atvažiuoja ir treniruojasi bei ruošiasi naujajam sezonui. Šie metai pagaliau nėra išimtis ir Žalgiris taip pat yra čia, Turkijoje, bei ruošiasi naujojo sezono kovoms. O mes esame įsirengę tokią improvizuotą studiją čia Gloria Sports Arena komplekse ir kalviname, aišku, mūsų komandos atstovus. Ir šiandien kartu su mumis yra Žalgirio trenerių štabo atstovas Atne Waldmanas. Hello, coach. Uh, we get? Lava diena. Ok. So we know our languages, yeah? I mean, that's about it, but uh, I'm trying. For, for me as well, so, but we'll, we will improve in the future. That's all fine. All uh, coach, r right before we started recording this conversation, you talked about your uh, legendary volleyball matches. And you, we know that you having two on two matches here also in Turkey. You with Mindaugas, Kvadaras or Minde versus Tuti, Toto de Sabonis and Sigi, Sigitas Kavalauskas. So, how are these matches going right now and how did they start? I would say they're pretty intense, like before, during and after the match. But, uh, you know, what happens on the court stays on the court. So, <laughs> I can, like, you got to talk to the other guys if you want more information. But it all started not here in Turkey. They all started in Konos, yeah, like you mentioned. Yes, we... Uh, At one point last year, uh, they came up with they shouldn't we play some coaching basketball, coaches basketball. Yeah. And my Achilles say, don't play basketball anymore. <laughs> like, so I was like, I would be in volleyball if that's the case. Yeah. And from then on, we had uh, a couple of matches last year. Yeah. And I would say, you know, Mindy and I, like we. You found that chemistry, yeah? Exactly, exactly. So, uh, no, it was uh, it is good to, to, to play, it's fun. And uh, here in the sun and the sand, it's uh, even more fun. But like you mentioned, it's quite different to play on the wood and now you're playing on the sand. You can do some additional moves when you're playing on the sand. Exactly. Some say I'm falling. I say when I dive for a ball, you know, here it's, uh, it's fun. You, you do that more often. On the wooden floor, if I dive, you know, then uh, next thing you see is our physio coming and picking me up from the floor. So I rather get up myself and I do it here in the sand. Coach, uh, we know that uh, fun is fun, but still uh, work also needs to be done. Uh, before uh, Jalgris came into this uh, facilities in Turkey, uh, how would you rate that uh, the whole setup of the team, the new roster of the team that has been built for this upcoming season? I mean, you see that we bring in a lot of new pieces, yeah. which will take some time to get those pieces in the right position to be functioning. Plus, you know, even though we started preseason, guys come in, came in late, like Emmanuel came, came late due to the summer league. Um, Giannis came late due to injury. So we're like, we're on the way, but we're not there yet. That's why we have why we call it preseason, and yeah. uh, I think this opportunity to be here to spend more time off the court also will help us tremendously finding roles, finding, finding ourselves as a team, team identity, which we are lacking right now. Uh, you having second preseason with Jalgiris as last year and this year, and these uh, both experience were quite different because last year you got the team already built for uh, Martin Schiller, for the whole coaching staff, And now you coaches uh, could uh, pick those pieces uh, and to set up those according to your plan. But you have uh, completely new guards, uh, which are very important in basketball, as everybody knows. So how is it different and how is it hard to start building the team? Like, not from scratch, of course, but uh, from a very new pieces. Yeah, it's, I mean, we have guys that are new to the EuroLeague, which is always difficult. And you may think, For a player like Emmanuel coming from the NBA, the transition can't be that tough, but it is because different rules, different kind of physicality and, and, and stuff that is just, just new for him. So he will need some time to adjust. You have guys coming in in different roles that they had before. So all this stuff and, you know, we have also guys with EuroLeague experience, quite a lot of EuroLeague yeah. experience, but it will take some time finding the the right spots for everybody and um, yeah like last year it it was new for the for the guys because most of the guys uh, work for Sharas 
and it's 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 different what 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 coach Schiller does and uh, now we have some guys that already know what Martin is expecting yeah and uh, we hope we would be clicking faster because we have you know it's sometimes it's a lot easier if not always the coach is explaining also players among themselves can say hey you know this is what you want and you know so um, but as we as we can see it's we're not quite there yet but uh, good thing is we still have have some time to go Tu Jalgiris Insider Mujik Komanda visur su tavimi Tap Jalgiris Insider prenumeratoriumi Isijung i Jalgiris